and thank you for joining us on this special episode of MedWatch Today, celebrating National Nurses Week. I'm Juanita Adame. Trista Holsey was just 17 years old when she was experiencing a strange and unexplainable headache that led to a mass on her forehead, leaving her scared and confused. Trista, originally from Visalia, was taken to Community Regional Medical Center for a higher level of care. This is where neurosurgeon Nathan Dice diagnosed her with the rare tumor. We could see, you know, when we examined her, she had some unusual swelling over her, her forehead that was a bit prominent. And then on her CAT scan, we could see that uh, there was, you know, clearly a bad sinus infection going on and then you know what looked to be pus uh, both you know just on the outside part of the skull but also inside as well where the where the brain is dr dice explained trista's sinuses were not draining properly the way that he told me that i had developed a very rare infection called pot's puffy tumor that was eating at my brain and deteriorating it there was air in my brain and it was it was growing on my frontal cranial bone. Trista underwent emergency brain surgery. It was pretty late at night by the time we operated on her, but uh, there was a there was a big team that had had gathered. We were all we were all concerned. My surgeon, Dr. Dice, was amazing, and he just looked at me and it just it gave me comfort because I knew what he was doing was the right thing, and he knew that too. Following the surgery, Trista spent the next two months at Community Regional, where she got to know her care team and learned she had an interest in the medical field. They would explain to me and talk to me in big medical terms, and I would ask them, what does that mean? And they were like, wow, Trista, you keep us on our toes. And one nurse in particular, Lorena Gascon, became a huge inspiration to her. Trista, now 19 years old, says her experience at Community Regional changed her career goals, from wanting to be an attorney to wanting to be a nurse. I I want to be that for another person because they made me feel so special in such a hard time in my life where I didn't know what was going to happen. And she's on her way to doing just that as a pre-nursing major at Fresno State. Here, oh, it's going to be hard and nursing is very hard, but I think it's one of the things that if you want it bad enough, you'll go for it. I want to be a nurse so bad and help other people so bad that like I will keep going. Trista says she is forever thankful for the advanced care she received close to home that not only saved her life, but changed it as well. I was really amazed and I said, oh my God, it's really, it's really true. When they told me that she wants to be originally a lawyer and became a nurse, I'm really proud of her. And I'm also like, I feel fulfilled. I just want to say thank you to everybody who stepped in and whether they were my nurse or not, they would come in there and talk to me and really build a bond with me and ask me about my life and not just about my case. And they were very personable. And I thank them for everything they did for me and for saving my life. Happy Nurses Week. Thank you for everything that you do for not just me, but for all the doctors and patients and their families in the hospital. You are the people who make the hospital run and you make it to where our patients get the, pair that, the care that they need and deserve and make sure that families are able to cope with whatever critical situations their loved ones might be in. There's not enough that we can say to express what it all means to us and these patients and their families about what you do. Thank you again.